Quick up to here. Nothing too crazy. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time, but uh, the Carolina Reaper back there. I, you know, I'm. A, it's the only one I'm concerned about right now. Let me know in the comments um, if that's what normal, like the little, it looks a little brown on the ends. You know, I don't know if it's just been too hot, uh, but that's a jalapeno back there. It seems like it's doing all right. And then, you know, the two habaneros up here seem to be doing wonderful. And then I got uh, ghost pepper ready to go. That wasn't there in the last video I did. So that's all I really got right now because out of the... I planted six peppers of each and all I've got so far is five plants. Let me know if that's normal because it's been... I want to say six weeks at least since I've planted the seeds. Let me know if that's normal because I, from what I see it's always two weeks and then I see people say it could take up to six weeks. Especially with the super hot. So... Out of all those, six plants of each, I only got five. Two habaneros, a jalapeno, a reaper, and a ghost pepper. And just let me know if that's normal with my uh, reaper plant. But anyway, I do got some, uh, I did get some primatale seeds, but I want to get my hands on some maybe chocolate primatale, some other cool uh, peppers, and start growing some hotter peppers. Because I know there's a few people on here, you know, that would enjoy eating them. And not just to send them to them, but uh, just to cook with. Or, you know, I like cooking with jalapenos and habaneros. But uh, just in the co let me know if, if you guys are interested and you eventually want some pods. I'm not looking to, you know, this is nothing I'm, you know, I originally wasn't going to ask for anything. But I have an idea of like, you know, instead of asking for anything just whenever you got if you guys want pods you know message me you know when the time comes whether it's on facebook messenger i know i'm friends with a few of you on facebook if not go follow me joe delubak i think it's just joe delubak i don't know i think i got the junior in there i don't know because my dad was senior so be joe delubak um i can always update you on that guys too if you want to find me on facebook just to interact with me through messenger um i don't always like I mean, I don't want to give my number out on, you know, in the comments in YouTube. So even if you want my number to contact me in a better way than just through comments on YouTube, you know, find me on Facebook, Messenger, give me a shout. And, uh, you know, I would like to work, do a thing like, you know, I'm in a Facebook group on uh, on Facebook, obviously. It's like pepper seed exchange and, you know, I guess people exchange whatever... You know, whether it's peppers, seeds, even if I, I was hoping to have a lot more plants ready to go and harvest the seeds and sell seeds, not really sell seeds, but give seeds to people if you want them and do just like an exchange. If you even have any, you know, whatever, like hot sauces, if you make a hot sauce or tincture, whatever, just uh, be cool to like, you know, just have because I don't I'm one of those people I, I don't I can't always afford to just get a different hot sauce and review it or whatever it is I want like I just don't always have that extra money when I go grocery shopping to get a new hot sauce or this and that you know I get like Cholula and you know a couple other ones I've been getting uh, what was it Linda's is it Melinda's yeah Melinda's has a good couple good ones excuse me when I go to Winn-Dixie but I just be nice to try some of the more you know I know I have some people on here who make sauces or tinctures you know figure something out work something out I think it'd be cool because I don't like asking for stuff for nothing you know at least it's you know it's I, I know it's not rocket science to grow peppers but it does you know it's to me I feel like it's it takes some time like it and it does cost some money to get them started you know I got a couple bags of soil over here um I use topsoil because I've read that it I mean I don't know if it, I'm still kind of it's only my second time growing peppers so um, I know they say because the soil drains enough to where they're not, you're not overwatering your peppers. So you can, oh, you know, when you, if you, even if you overwater the plant, you know, it's going to drain a little bit because down at the bottom here, it's got, you know, it's got the holes and then that, that's just a tray. Really, I can take that off, but I leave that there anyway, because that water, you know, probably evaporates up through the dirt you know a little bit keeps that dirt you know not dry from drying out too much i would think 
so that's why I keep those trays there. Um, and then like I got for when they get bigger, if I need, so they don't root themselves, I've been saving buckets from work, all kinds of sizes. I mean, those are probably, I wish I could get more sizes of those. And this one here, a little icing. This is what our icing comes in for our cakes and stuff at Golden Corral. I think that's the buttercream icing that they put on the carrot cake. And saving a bunch of buckets in those I got from Lowe's. Anyway, all right, I'm not going to try. I don't want to make this. I didn't expect to even have this video this long. So, all right, I'll catch you all on the next one. And like I said, just talk to me in the comments. Let me know if you guys will be interested in some pods, especially the Reapers and Ghost Pepper. And especially when I start growing the Prima Tallies and stuff, I think it would be cool to, you know, because I don't eat them. They're just going to go to waste. You know, I like growing them and just sending them out to people. All right, I'm done rambling on. See you all later.